Welcome back. We are here at eToro. And for this video, I am going to show which markets uh, or companies, indicators, currencies, and so on, I am looking at in order to sell or buy for next week. And the top of my list is the NASDAQ. So we can see that the NASDAQ has been on a really, really, really bullish run for quite some time. Actually, the NASDAQ is um, trading within a channel. You can see the top of the channel here. There. And we can see the bottom of a channel around this area here. And the NASDAQ has basically been bouncing up and down this channel for, well, months at this, at this point. And um, at the moment, the NASDAQ is, is uh, basically at the top of this channel. Um, if we were to break uh, this line, then we will most likely go much, much higher. However, I do not expect the NASDAQ to do that. I expect the NASDAQ to probably go a little bit higher and uh, touch this line and then go back down uh, to, um, to hit this uh, lower support line and then just continue the bouncing upwards. Um, we can show, of course, uh, as the question if we were supposed to be here, is the economy in such a good shape that basically ex the Nasdaq should explode? Answer is no. But as long as the Federal Reserve is basically buying everything and telling all the companies that we have your back and no matter what happens, we will still have your back, and then these markets will go higher. And as long as that is the case, then you should just basically continue um, uh, trading in this pattern. And um, at the moment, this is for me probably the best selling opportunity uh, for next week. And on Monday, I will basically be looking closely at this market, what basically happens. If we go uh, past this uh, line, then we'll go higher. Then I'll rethink my strategy, and uh, if not, if I see any sort of weakness, I will basically sell this, and I will sell it to around around ten thousand three hundred. So, so thereabout. Um, we can also see the other indicators. They are really, really bullish, and they have been bullish for quite some time. Um, the RSI is overbought. Uh, the MACD indicates that we probably have one day or two days before we go and pass this signal line. And the same goes for the stochastic. This is just uh, not sustainable and we will go lower from here. So this is basically my, my top sell for next week. So next on my list is Cocoa. Get it up here. So, this market has absolutely been hammered since the uh, because of the coronavirus, and the main reason is that uh, restaurants and uh, and other social events uh, had just also been hammered, and therefore uh, this market is not selling as well as it was prior to the coronavirus. However, at this moment, we are substantially oversold we hit a low on on wednesday of 2090 and since then we had a really bullish account here uh, ending the session higher we got a hammer here ending the session higher than the previous session indicating that we'll go higher and um, this also coincide with the, uh, the last uh, weeks where we basically went down and up tested that 200 moving average and that's why I am interested in technically buying uh, in, in this market. I do expect us to, to have a similar bullish run as we did a few trading sessions ago. So um, I already bought into this market um, on, on, on Thursday. And I will probably continue buying into this market uh, until we hit the 200 moving average. Don't expect this market to explode above the 200 moving average. Sometimes it does. The more safe trade is basically to expect us 
to get close to the moving average and then sell. Um, this is not a market that will um, explode to the upside the, uh, to the same levels as prior to the coronavirus. However, this is a short-term opportunity to buy in order to get to uh, this uh, level. And as we can see that the 200 moving and 50 moving average, I'm sorry, uh, is uh, moving in this direction. So it's probably going like that. So uh, we'll see a market that will go from a low of 2,090 to um, a high around around 2,280 somewhere or thereabout. And that is, yeah, that's quite a good buy and a, quid, a quite good opportunity to buy. This is number two on my list. So uh, number three is copper. So this is almost looking at the uh, similar looking at the NASDAQ. However, this is copper and copper has been on an extremely bullish run now for, for months. And we hit a low of around uh, around uh, uh, 1,970, thereabout. And we are at the moment almost at 3,000. And we passed this resistant level here. I was expecting us to run into a really, really uh, tough resistant here. As we can see on Tuesday, we did basically touch this top here and then we basically went back down. I was ready to short the market here. However, on Friday, we just had an explosive candle to the upside. So what I expect to happen is that we're going to 3000. We're going to these, uh, we can see that this has been historically been a, a level that has been significant resistant. And if we get even close to 3000, I will be shorting this market. We are ridiculously um, overbought at this moment. We can see the RSI is at 80, which indicates we are overbought and we also see that we have been at 80 before we were 80 here and then we just crashed and that is what i expect to happen on either on monday on, on tuesday that we will basically see a significantly um, decrease in this price probably to draw down to 2700 or something like that um we We'll also have a crossing here of the 50 and 200 moving average, which usually means that this market will go higher. But before that happens, this market has to come down. It, it will have to go probably down to 2,750, something like that, and then it will go higher to test 3,000, and then it will go down. Um, we are way too overextended here. So this is number three on my list of markets to or or in this case, commodity is too short. Uh, number four is the is the Aussie and US dollar. So, um, for a really, really long time, this market has been trending downwards, all the way back to, we can go back to 2008. 18, beginning of 2018, this market has been uh, on a decline. Um, we have uh, we had a historically strong dollar, and we can see the effect of the coronavirus coming in here, where this market absolutely collapsed to uh, zero five uh, fifty, and then it has basically exploded, and this is not a sustainable level. Uh, the historical pattern was this, and at this moment, we just need to get back into this historical pattern. Um, this was an absolutely oversold um, situation here, and at the moment, we are in an overbought situation, and 
the mark and the dollar at the moment is 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 really weak. If we looked at the indicator uh, for the, for the dollar dollar index, we can see that it is trading around uh, 96, which is really low. It may go a little bit lower, and that would mean that we would go back to uh, 0.70 here. Um, but this is not sustainable, and I do believe that we'll go. Um, go down from here probably hit the 200 moving average and then go up and then continue in this same range here for quite some time so this is number four on my my list of uh, of uh, of trades where i tend to to sell and then we come to the stocks and the first on my list is tesla now i have been planning to make a video of tesla for quite a long time i just don't see what investors see in this market i don't really understand why people are buying into this market um the people that, the people that say that electric vehicles are the future i guarantee you're wrong guarantee you're wrong it's not the future um i just don't see how we will fit uh, airplanes with batteries or uh, massive cruise ships with batteries or uh, technically fit every car in the world with batteries it, that will be in in, in uh, technically a disaster for for the world because you'll use so much resources and it's so uh, the pollution from it will be catastrophic so it, i see tesla as a short term solution to a, to um to a problem um it is not the future i don't believe in this company at all i'll make a, a video um i am actually making a video of Tesla and where I think Tesla will go, uh, Tesla stock will go in the future. Uh, at the moment, I just think this is an enormous bu bubble and uh, a massive opportunity just to short this market. Uh, if you just look at the technical indicators, uh, the the RSI is at six, uh, 86 at the moment. We have been here before. We were here prior to the coronavirus when we saw this absolutely enormous um, um, increase in the price of the tesla stock uh, from around 224 where it had been trading for uh, in this range for a very long time and then just exploded yeah i know this is um, 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 more like a cult stock at the moment people um, almost uh, see uh, Elon Musk as a you know, cult leader at the moment, but I don't believe in this company. I do believe this will, at some point, absolutely crash. If they were to um, to uh, be in a pronouncement of a new technology in in the motor industry, which there is actually is, we have actually hydrogen, which is. Uh, most likely going to be the future. Uh, hydrogen, there is no, there is no um, shortage of hydrogen in the world. It's the most abundant uh, energy uh, source in the world, and there is a enormous uh, potential in hydrogen. And when that takes off, this stock will absolutely be destroyed. Um, but the reason why I uh, want to short this stock is because we're so overextended. And we have been here before. We were in this uh, same position uh, prior to the coronavirus, and we saw this market completely collapse. It lost around one-third of its value. And that's also what I expect to happen here. I expect this market to basically lose around a third of its value. So we will see a market that goes back down to uh, 1,000, something like that, where around the 50 moving average, uh, yeah, around 
1,000, probably 1,100. So this is absolutely the, the stock that I want to short because it's just ridiculously overextended, overbought, and so on. Overhyped, technically. Uh, next is Zoom. So I made a video of this um, a few weeks ago. Uh, and anybody that wants to, to see the video, you can. I'll leave the, the link down below. Why I just don't understand why this company exploded. This is technically old technology. There are there are no boundaries for for other companies to go and compete with Zoom on this marketplace. There are actually tens uh, of of uh, other uh, similar softwares out there, and the only reason why Zoom is at the top at the moment probably had as a, has an advantage in quality a little bit in, uh, in because of you can have several people on the the call at the same time. However, Skype has been doing this for forever, like 20 years almost now, and it's never made any money. Uh, we have um, TeamSpeak, for example, for, from Microsoft. It's, it's the same program, just as good as Zoom. Why in the world is this company exploding? I have no idea. Um, at some point, this will just collapse. So... Um, I have a, a long um, analysis of Zoom, and at the moment, I'm just waiting for this to go to to 300. I am almost certain that it will go to 300, and when it goes, I'm going to short this market. It is way overbought. Um, uh, for some reason, this uh, uh, MACD is going upwards again instead of going completely downwards. And the same goes for the stochastic. So we will most likely go higher from here. But yeah, 300 is where I'm going to absolutely short this uh, stock. And then we have Airbus. So Airbus is uh, one of two um, major... Um, a producer of a commercial aircraft. We had the other one is Boeing, and I could also look at Boeing, but Boeing is also um, one of the companies that I'm, I'm tending to short. I made a long video also about Boeing and why Boeing would shouldn't be nearly at the price level as it is. However, um, I find. Uh, um, Airbus stock interesting because it has been so um, connected to this 50 moving average for such a long time. We can see when we passed the 50 moving average, we went down and we went up. Then we went down again, went up, down, up. And it's technically been trading uh, along this 50 moving average for for almost uh, nearly a month now. And if we were to break this 50 moving average, yeah, we'll probably go to uh, to uh, test some of these lows again. But uh, Airbus tested these lows several times. Um, these are massive uh, support levels and they will not be breached. Uh, this is not a company that will go bankrupt. It mm -hmm. technically can't go bankrupt. So... The lowest level this can go to is around 38. Uh, if if we have an enormous outbreak of the coronavirus and everything has to be shut down again, we'll probably go back to these levels. Other than that, Airbus is trading at this 50 moving average. And every single time that it basically hits this 50 moving average, it pops. So we can see it it pops here. So quite substantially, it was completely overbought in this, this area. This is not... Um, all of the stocks in the stock market uh, went on an absolutely crazy run in this period. Um, however, since then, it, every single time it has hit the 50 mover average, it has popped. And this is, um, this is what I'm going to trade. If we go back to the 50 mover average, I will be buyer. Uh, I did buy here and sold it again. Uh, I did not buy it here, but 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 um, but 
from now on, every single time we hit the 15 moving average, I will be buying this stock. And I will not be holding it because this is quite uncertain. Um, um, airliners are still not uh, um, buying um, aircraft from, from Airbus because, well, they don't have any money. So don't expect this stock to explode like it did uh, a few weeks ago. This was really unrealistic. Uh, however, do expect this stock to just gradually go higher and higher and higher. And probably in in a few months' time, we will hit this 200 moving average. And that will be quite interesting because we'll have a, um, um, a scenario where we either go lower or we go substantially higher. So this is the market where I'm interested in buying. And uh, last on my list is C C L. So, Carnival Cruise. This has been one of the most popular uh, stocks out there. So, um, yeah, what can you say? This has also been one of the most volatile stocks out there. And at this moment, uh, we had an enormous uh, pop on, on Friday. And... And um, and this is basically coincided that they said they were going to to start sailing again in the near future. I think it was basically in August. However, really, who is going to go on a cruise line? It's I made a long video of of uh, of a CCL uh, a few weeks ago, um, and at the moment, I just think that all of these cruise stocks are just doomed. Completely doomed. There was an interesting trade. Uh, I I missed that trade, but there was an interesting trade uh, where we had a, we had a triangle. Um, we had a lower support level here, and we had a triangle. And I was expecting CCL to go into this triangle and then either go up or go down. What happened is basically it broke this support level here and is now trading underneath the 15 moving average. And this should be a warning sign to all of the people that want, want to basically buy the stock. Uh, this, even for the good news on Friday, it did not break the 15 moving average. It did not. So do not expect the stock to go uh, on this wild goose chase like it did a few weeks ago this was ri just ridiculous um this is going to be a company that slowly slowly goes down and down and going it's going to test these lows again because it is probably the most unsafe place you can go at the moment is on a cruise and the main customers that buy tickets for these crews are elderly seniors. And which also are in the group of people that are uh, in the highest risk of, of technically dying from the coronavirus. Um, so why in the world would anybody buy this stock? Uh, seniors are not going to flock to these cruise liners again anytime soon. And even if you have um, good treatment, really, you're going to buy a ticket for a cruise line and expect to have, yeah, if I get the, the coronavirus, if one person gets the coronavirus on a ship, everybody will get it. Get it. And there's around 50% chance that you'll die if you go on the ventilator. Nobody's going to take that risk. So they may prop up this market as much as they can, uh, before we even uh, before we see a vaccine on the market, these companies are absolutely doomed. Um, therefore, I am just waiting for a good opportunity to sell this market. If I see a um, uh, 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 candlestick that is uh, opens lower on Monday, this will be one of the stocks that I will short. So, hope you find this uh, video helpful. These are the stocks and um, currencies and commodities that I look for next week to short and to buy. And uh, you're welcome to put a like on this video, hit uh, 
share button and uh, the bell button and subscribe. Thank you very much and good luck trading.